Hi, I'm Tiffany Duman, and I chose to do my leadership case study on Leanne Tui. The title of my paper was called, What Makes a Leader Inspirational? I believe that Leanne Tui was the perfect choice for this because after hearing her speak a few years ago, I realized she's so much more than just the mom from the blind side. Born August 9th, 1960 in Memphis, Tennessee, she was born and raised there until she went on to go to college at University of Mississippi. This is where she met her husband, Sean Tui. The two of them are known for having many fast food restaurants, the family as inspiration for the movie, The Blind Side, and they've also started a charity called Making It Happen Foundation. On her own, Leanne owns her own interior design company, does motivational speeches around the country, and she's a chair on the foundation. She is inspirational because she has used her story and her experience as a leader to many through multiple outlets. Leanne's first and foremost job is as the matriarch of the Tui family. Her husband, Sean, and her have two biological children, Collins and SJ, and their adopted son, Michael. They are most commonly known as the Blindside family. Michael Lewis wrote a book titled The Blind Side, The Evolution of a Game. It was eventually made into a picture movie that became very popular and most people know and recognize the name Tui as the family from the blind side. In the movie, Leon is seen as an unstoppable, fierce matriarch of the family. She witnesses this boy's hardships and sets her sights on helping him, shopping for him, caring for him, guiding him, and lastly, eventually making him a part of the family. In the movie and in real life, after seeing her speak, I've been able to see that she has a very keen sense of social skills. In Goldman's article, What Makes a Leader, he discusses that having social skills is having friendliness with a purpose. He's quoted as saying, moving people in the direction you desire, whether that's agreement on a new marketing strategy or enthusiasm about a new product. Not that anyone would consider Michael a product, but they believed in him to have more potential and a greater life ahead of him than the one he was living. As the leader of the family, she took her leadership role and decided that she was gonna use the social skills she has to give him a better life and help him succeed. Her and her husband believed he had so much more ahead of him than the boy walking down the road without the correct clothes on or not being able to buy his school lunches at school. They believed in him and they believed that there was so much more ahead for him. Coleman also talks about empathy in his article. That is a huge quality for a leader to have. Leanne saw this boy that was not clothed properly for the weather. And she knew that with his lack of funds, and support, he needed someone to help him out. And eventually finding out he didn't have a permanent home, she decided to make him a permanent part of their family. She showed empathy because she could have ignored him and moved on and, and never stepped out to help him any extra, but she took him under her wing and she ended up helping him physically, then academically, and lastly, emotionally. As a leader of her family, she also showed her family that random act of kindness can change lives and can change someone's life forever. She's quoted as saying, when someone comes into your life, like Michael Orr, trust me when I tell you that you, the giver, will benefit much more than the receiver will. We truly learned what being a real family was about when Michael came into our lives. We were fooling ourselves before. One simple random act of kindness opened our eyes to the true meaning of what family is all about. Her ability to open her home and her family makes her an inspirational leader because by hearing, reading, or watching their story, you are inspired to do so much more than you have ever done. If one random, random act of kindness can do this for her family, imagine what one ra random act of kindness could do for you. In addition to her leadership role as a family, Leanne also runs a charity called Making It Happen Foundation. She travels around and gives motivational speeches as well. 
Their story inspired them to create this foundation. It's to help children who may be sliding through the cracks. The mission statement on their website says, to live and share our commitment to faith, family, and others while opening doors to promote awareness, provided hope, and improve the standard living and quality of life for all the children fighting to survive in the invisible cracks of our society. She used the positive result from her act of kindness to motivate others to, to do the same. Goldman describes effective leaders as being motivated to be driven and achieve beyond expect, expectations, their own and others. He also speaks about finding leaders who drive to achieve rather than for external rewards and the signs to look for. She shows that by adopting Michael, there was no external award. She didn't expect to have a movie and a book written about her. They did it because that's what felt right to them. She didn't need a good job from anybody. She didn't need a pat on the back. They did this because they saw a boy in need and they were able to help him. And so that's what she wanted to do. Goldman talks about the first sign is passion for work itself. Such people seek out creative challenges, love to learn, and take great pride in a job well done. This has been the driving motivation for her foundation. It shows that she's passionate, passionate about helping others and that they want to work hard as a charity to help the hardships that some kids may face that they can't even help and they can overcome these challenges. The point of her foundation is to continue to the inspiration they felt through bringing Michael into their family and help others feel that overwhelming joy they feel. The mission statement, the work, and the goals for the foundation show that as a leader, she does not work by being motivated by constant praise, but motivated by the passion within the work and the lives that they can change. When I saw her speak, she said, as they were driving down the road, they didn't expect to take a boy home that night. They didn't expect a movie to be made. She just wanted to help someone in need. And at first it just started out as her husband buying his lunches or, you know, them giving him some proper clothes. But he became a part of their family. And not only did they gain him, but they gained the true meaning of family. And they were inspired to start this foundation to help others. In discovering your authentic leadership, it's discussed how the journey to authentic leaderships begins with the understanding of the story of your life. If that doesn't describe the Tui family, I don't know what does. She has taken on her role as the leader of a charity, of a family, of this story of the blind side, and she has been able to change lives. She doesn't talk about their good deed or that she has a son that had become an NFL player during her speeches. She talks about how they saw someone that needed help and she was able to take leadership over Michael's life and where he couldn't help himself or lead himself, she helped lead him. She led him to college and to the NFL, somewhere he may have never ended up had her and her husband not chosen to help him or take them under their wings. Authentic leadership also discusses how the story of your life isn't your life. Instead, it is your story. It is your personal narrative that matters, not the mere facts. Using the narrative from her story is how Leanne has inspired others to change their lives and become authentic leaders in their life to help change the world for someone. It's not that the Tui family is popular, that's not what makes them popular or that they have this movie about them. It's the inspiration that they have used behind their narrative of their story that helps inspire so many others through their books, movie, charity, and speeches. They help change the world. Leanne Tui has a leadership role in so many parts of her life. She's a mother, a wife, a business owner, a partner, a charity chair, and a speaker. And in each type of her different leadership roles, she helps to use their story to guide others to change lives like she did for Michael. 
She is a true inspirational leader.